No way, that's what I think it is. Is that an M6? Yeah. I think it is. Holy shit! Why is there an M6 at Kent State? Alright, I need to pay attention to driving. Yeah, alright, I'm on my way out. There's a black E64, E63, whatever the coupe hardtop is. M6 over there, that's cool. He was looking at me too. I like that. Alright guys, so Colt is on his way over. We're gonna head down to Dave Walter BMW. He's got some parts in. I've got a part in that I've been waiting for for like two months, it's not important. I can't even put it on until we have a new jack. I'm trying to point the camera away from the wind because this thing sucks with wind. So he told me he's a couple of minutes out, so I just came outside. Now I get to stand out here in three degrees until he comes down the road. Um, we're gonna head over to Harbor Freight afterwards. I've never been in a Harbor Freight store. I've never personally ordered anything from them online, but I know everybody does and sells their decent stuff, I guess. So there's one just south of Akron and Portage Lakes. I think we're gonna head down there, check that out. We really need a jack right now. The jack that I use, we use, is totally dicked. Uh, it's not big enough, it's not strong enough, and it's dicked. So we're gonna do some jack shopping. Um, Hopefully he is coming down the road in a minute. It's an E65 Alpina B7. I've never seen or sat in one of these before. Yeah. Boom. The, uh, the, the other one that Roz and I looked at when we were in here a little bit ago had that. But it's got the green stitching. It's blue up there. Green on the bottom. So this, I think, is the first Alpina tuned uh, 7 Series. Everything has a button. Yeah. Everything. Everything's a gadget in this car. Whoa. I mean... It's got, there's the uh, magazine. Isn't that better than the trunk? <laughs> I would much rather have mine on the dash than the trunk. Whoa. Key goes there. How does this Transmission yeah, selector up here. here Washers, uh, cruise. That, which I still don't know what this is. What is that? This thing's weird. Uh, Forty-three thousand dollars, though, for a car that was probably about a hundred new. All right, we're leaving Dave Walter. We got our parts. They have a E46 M3 right here, but inside they have an orangey 90, except it's not a lime rock. We've got an E39 next to it. I think that's a 525, and the black one down there's a 540. So you're gonna make a left at this light that's green. Cool. We're headed to Harbor Freight. We're gonna look for a jack. Still have all those E46s and the end car is on the corner there. If somebody doesn't know that you get out of the lane closest to cops. It looks like we got bad news. We got highway poopers here. Looks like a Camry got dicked. And potentially a... No, that one looked alright. I don't know. We're sliding. It must be really slick. It's a power struggle. You're filming. Hey Alex. Hi. Wanna be in it? No? I don't care. Brandon's here. He didn't want to be in it. We'll put your well, feet is in it. Is someone gonna grab this? Oh, you want me to take it? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll be happy to. Oh, yeah. it's cold. Yeah, this, is our, this is our new floor jack. You got taller, huh? <laughs> is it on? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna jack it down. I just go really slow. I will. Drop it. That's about as slow as it can go. I can go slower. <laughs> well, there's our difference from the old and the new. Yeah, this should do a little better. What do you think? Good news. Good news? It's better. All right, so it's 2.21 a.m. Colt just left. Brandon, Brad, Alex, and Roz. Colt, we're over. It was fun Thursday night. Um, no classes tomorrow. It's negative two degrees outside with a negative 14 wind, jack, wind factor. Isn't that cool? Hey, you saw, we got our new jack today. That's been longing the making. The jack, we had the jack we had before, I think my dad bought when doing brake pads on a Honda like 20 years ago. It's lifted this car so many times, and it is just not big enough and not strong enough. So now we have this, went to Harbor Freight. It's a Pittsburgh two-ton 
low profile floor jack. Uh, not the best thing money can buy, but you know what? It's gonna do more than we needed to over the next few months while we're, years or whenever while we're here. Look at this. This is a couple of drives to Kent. Oh, it's sickening. That's just what the rear 275s throw on the back of the car. It's disgusting. If it were above freezing in the garage, I'd hook up my hot water and at least rinse off the big stuff. But it's not. Hey, the trunk lid looks great though. That's clean. Look at that. It's bad. That's almost as bad as it was coming home from Detroit. 400 miles on salty highways. It's disgusting. We also went to Dave Walter. He had a couple of parts that were being picked up. Sorry, my lens is dirty. Um, we picked those up and then my final part was picked up too. I'll show you that in a second. And we got the mower out of here today. It's in service, so I've got more garage space now for a while until I get that back, which is nice. Inside in here it's 22, outside it's negative 4 according to that. I don't know why. I don't know why it's so bad. But it is, and it really sucks. Everything that, it, like the whole house, I was talking about this yesterday, the whole house sounds different. There's creaks and noises and pops and stuff in the roof that you never hear when it's even 20. Um, where's my part? Here it is, I'll take it into the light. Hmm, who knows what this is? This is a $77 piece of metal that had to come in from Germany because they don't stock them here. This is a DSC compressor slash horn bracket. On mine, this piece right there that sticks out is broken off. It got rusty and broke off and no longer holds the horn. So the horn, I actually found that at the end of summer. I was, remember when I pulled the whole belly pan off and I was getting all those screws and fasteners right? Well, I got that perfect. And then I had noticed that my horn was really loose, really weak. The metal was just about ready to snap. And I thought, well, I'm gonna need to look that up. The next time I was in there doing an oil change or something, I looked at it and it had broken off. So my horn has been, and I think it is, still connected with a piece of twine. I tied it up around the bumper guards and stuff. So it's kind of suspended in there in a web of twine just so it's not rattling around. And that's, that's not good enough. So I finally ordered that. I ordered it a month ago and it came in yesterday. So now that I have a jack, I just need to wait until it's warm enough for me to be able to stand out there jacking up the center of the car underneath. Then I gotta pull the wheel off, pull the fender liner out, and then I should be able to install that, I'm hoping. I really hope I don't have to remove the DSC um, compressor because there's brake lines going into that and I may not be able to do it myself. But this piece definitely needs to go in and hopefully I can find some nuts that I can thread on there. So I'm gonna go up. I don't even know if I'm gonna take a shower tonight. I'm tired and it's freezing and I hate taking a shower when it's so cold. I may just get in bed. I have three boxes coming tomorrow totaling like 10 parts for the car so that'll be exciting you'll be able to see the big one in the making that'll be kind of exciting at least for me as a driver um, but that's going to be it this clip's too long it's 2:25. i'm going to bed i'll talk to you guys tomorrow hope you had a good thursday good night